The question is, as we continue to read this, everything great is paid for, blood, sweat, grit, sacrifice, everything. So why do you think you should be given anything without putting in the work? Here's why. You're entitled. One of the things that we just read on the creed is I will have no ego and I will have no entitlement. What I see, they somebody told them they did, or somebody told them they're doing better than most, or maybe you think you're doing better than everybody else. Who is everybody else? Are you really wanting to become a top 1% or 10% earner in the country? I mean, I'm just asking a question, Sean, you, you, you make about 400 grand a year, but you got other guys working in your store that are making 800. Problem. And some of you guys are making 200, this guy's making 400, what's your problem? And some of you guys are making 100, and these guys are, what's your problem, what's your deal? First of all, why aren't you making 2 million in this market? Why, somebody give me a reason why. There is no reason, you're lazy. You're lazy, you have some wind in your sails because the market's great, wind in the sailboat, it's just blowing you along. You can not do anything right now and still be able to pay your bills. Guys, you better get ready. That shit's gonna shit. When production comes back in a year, year and a half, you're you are done. And you will never get this market back. Never. Never. You're living in history. In history, you're living in it. The question is, will you become a legend? Will you build your street name right now? Okay, I built the street name when it was a market. When I made 716 grand in a shit market where cars that you own for 18 grand were priced on the internet for 12.9. I mean, I don't even know what to do. If we're five grand under the cost of the car and I get paid on commission. I don't care if you got paid hundred percent commission. It, it, it didn't make sense. You had to hold on trains, you had to switch people cars. It was a grind every day. It ain't a grind right now for you guys. You know what? Okay. You got to sell air on a new car because you don't have it. That's easy, man. Okay. The market isn't budging on prices. Nobody's budging. So guess what? All you gotta do is do your job and be better than everybody else and everybody will buy from you. Are you educating everybody in the world right now that now's the time to trade in their car because it's worth 10 grand more than it was last year? No, you're not. Bullshit. How many phone calls do you make a day calling people in your company? Look, you're not calling them. And by the way, is it real? Yeah, it's real. What kind of passion would a guy have on the telephone if he was giving somebody some real information? Imagine this, I call a guy and I'm like, dude, you're not gonna believe this, but the car that you bought from us before, it could possibly be worth more money even though you've had it in two, for two years than what you paid for it when you bought it. Look, I wouldn't be calling you just to blow some smoke in your ear. I had a lady buy a 2018 Toyota RAV4 at MSRP to $24,000. We just bought it back from her yesterday for 28 grand. She drove it for five years and put 60,000 miles. I don't understand it. I don't need to, but I know the money is real and it cashes. Okay. So if at any point in your life you were ever wanting to win the lottery, right? Or just get a crazy offer and go back home and even laugh at it. Now's the time. I need two minutes. When can you make it in? Why are you not doing this? Why? You know why? Because you're lazy. I'm going to build you back up. I got you, but you're lazy. I would write down on your paper. I am lazy. And don't write it down because I'm telling you, write it down because I'm going to come up to you here in a minute and I'm going to hit you with an objection or I'm going to ask you, hey, ring, ring. I'm going to ask you to hit me on a phone call and you know what you're going to do? You're going to realize that you don't know this. But I'm going to say, how much time have you wasted? And by the way, that time that you were wasting, you didn't know that you were wasting it. You just didn't have a problem. You're entitled. Okay, I'm going to ask a couple real questions today. Who is really ready to get financially free this year? Seriously, and don't get, this isn't a hype game where we all scream. This is like, when we go back, are we really gonna go to war? I mean, every second of the day, every minute, every hour, and I don't give that to anybody else says, right? You are gonna look like, you're gonna look like you're crazy, and it's a good crazy. People are gonna talk shit on you, enjoy it, okay? You're changing. People are going to say you changed. That was the whole purpose. Okay. Let me spell this out for you. It's going to be hard. You, it will cause you pain, pain. It's going to cause you massive amounts of pain to change. 
It's going to require massive sacrifice. It's going to take time. It's going to suck. Does it suck to wake up at 4.30 to go to the gym? Yes, it sucks. But if you do it, you have energy for the next 12 hours to destroy the cells game. Get your man. When you're walking out of the gym, the sun's coming up, you'll be thankful, okay? Now, with that being said, guess what? It's worth it. Is it worth it, guys? Yeah. Is it worth it? The only way you're gonna know that it's worth it is if you try it. I tried it, I did it, it was nasty, I hated it, but guess what? You come out on the other side clean. And you're like, oh my God, man, had I not made those decisions, I'd still been normal. I'd have been average, I tried average. Who in here wants to work a nine to five, literally, and have a little pick of things? Go to the vacation once a year, barely be able to buy your kids a 10 grand car for college or high school? No ways, no ways, man. I wanna do whatever I want. Guys, you give one life, one. You gotta to decide to get pissed off and go get it. Now here's the goal. How do you get momentum? This is everything. If you guys watch our company, you see how we operate, you see how we run, you see how we move. We move off momentum. You know what momentum does? Breathes more momentum. You know what I do? I walk into a showroom floor. I'm going out to train. The first thing I see is a quiet showroom floor. I'm out. What's everybody's problem? Doesn't everybody understand that people buy when they're in a good state, when they're in a good mood? Am I right? Okay. So people say yes and buy when they're in a good mood, but the momentum's empty on the showroom floor. What does that mean? It means nobody gives a shit. Anytime you walk into my facility, anytime, there'll be music playing. Guys will be fired up. You walk in with the bad attitude around me, get your ass out of here, okay? You ungrateful piece of shit, get out of here, okay? Listen, you're ungrateful. How can you have a bitter attitude and be grateful at the same time? It's physically impossible, okay? Listen to me. The number one thing that you will do to be the best in the world is to maintain a great attitude in every circumstance. How do you do that? By staying grateful. What will happen if you can do that? You will start to create momentum.